Assalamu alaikum. Today I'd like to tell you about another literature review with the title of The Correlation Between Brain Injury and the elevation of the S100B marker after cardiac pulmonary bypass literature review and I was a co-author in this literature review and it was uh, published in the um, National Congress of Medical Students and Youth in Bucharest, Romania. And I'd like to tell you or give you a brief idea about it. So, what is cardiopulmonary bypass? Cardiac pulmonary bypass is a process which is used to oxygenate the blood uh, during cardiac surgeries because it's, it's hard to operate on a beating heart. So what happens is, is that if we have the heart like this and these are the, the chambers of the heart So, this is a device called the heart lung machine. So, basically, it carries the role of the heart and lungs. And so, the blood, the deoxygenated blood, goes inside the machine, the machine oxygenates the blood and it goes back to the heart and in this process it skips the heart and the lungs. So, this is the cardiopulmonary bypass. Then, the other thing that we have is brain injury. Brain injury. Why would brain injury happen? Brain injury can happen due to um, the lack of blood supply to the to the brain or hypoxia or oxygen lack and this can lead to an encephalopathy or a cognitive deficit can be temporary or short like one to three months or something and this is the brain injury and actually the brain injury was found to account for like 60% of the cases with cardiopulmonary bypass in 8 days post-operative. So this means that after the operation by 8 days like 60% of people actually suffered from one kind or another of brain injury and this risk 
decreased to 25% to 30% in um, 8 weeks to 12 month period. So it's uh, an important issue, the brain injuries occurring after the cardiopulmonary bypass. bypass. Then the third factor that we have is the S100B marker. The S100 markers are uh, actually found in the um, body and they're very important. There are more than 20 kinds of this. Uh, we have like S100 from A1 to like A16, A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. We have S100B, we have S100P and S100Z and so on. But this one is uh, found in the cerebrospinal fruit surrounding the brain, the spinal cord, and it was indicated that it has elevated levels during brain injuries that occur after the cardiopulmonary bypass. So the point is, uh, using the marker in order to decrease the risks for developing brain injuries after the cardiopulmonary bypass, <coughs> cardiac surgeries. So, um, it was found that uh, in in some studies that the S100B marker can actually can be used or can be kind of significant, not as significant as the CD scan or computerized tomography. The S100B marker can actually be used to decrease the um, amount of radiation that the patient is exposed to and to decrease the number of uh, beds or the number of units occupied in emergency rooms because it can be significant in order to tell if the patient is suffering from a brain injury or not and this can be kind of helpful finally for the brain injuries we can minimize these by controlling the uh, pre-operative uh, risk factors or the retro-operative risk factors like um, the neuroprotective intervention by, uh, for example, arterial filtration arterial line filtration or alpha state pH state management uh, we also have pharmacological options like giving aspirin to the patient or vasodilators and so on also, the operative uh, procedures like using uh, minimal invasive surgeries that actually um, decrease the risks of developing neurological complications and of course the brain injury is included and so on. So, briefly, that was the idea behind this literature review. I hope it was clear for you, and until the next time, I thank you for watching, and see you.